Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again, and I want to welcome everyone back to another movie review. And today I'm going to be reviewing the other latest Jean-Claude Van Damme film, We Die Young, which, like The Bouncer, was very disappointing, in my opinion. Um, yeah, at the end of the day, again, much like The Bouncer, if you're really curious about it, it's a time waster. And that's it. Um, I I definitely have no desire to see this movie again, and I definitely do not have a desire to own this movie on Blu-ray or DVD or whatever format they decide to put it out on. Because I've noticed that a lot of these kind of movies they're only releasing on DVD, which makes no sense to me because most of them are filmed in you know 1080. I mean, everything's filmed in high definition now. So yeah, I don't know. But whatever. But yeah, uh, We Die Young, which, to be perfectly honest, was another boring movie. I was very bored with this movie. I couldn't wait for it to be over. And um, I did not enjoy it at all. You know, Van Damme, I think, was wasted in this movie because, uh, once again, much in the way of the bouncer, he really didn't have anything to do. You know, I didn't care for his character. I really didn't, to be honest. He plays uh, this guy named Daniel, who's a uh, a veteran, army veteran, went to Afghanistan and Iraq and everything. And he has PTSD, which that was I was okay with, but he didn't talk in the whole movie. He had like this, he had, you know, the... The thing, and I don't know what it's called. I mean, I've heard whatever, whatever. Uh, not making fun of people with that of just this movie. I just didn't care for it. And he had like this app where he could talk on his phone. And I thought it was so dumb. Like, I'm like, really? You're going to have Jean-Claude Van Damme in a movie and you're not going to have him talk at all? Which, again, I know they did pretty much with Universal Soldier Regeneration and that movie fucking sucks. But... How can you have Van Damme in a movie and not have the guy talk? I don't get that at all. I really do not. Doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. But again, what do, what do I know, right? I don't know nothing. I'm just some guy on YouTube that likes to talk about movies. And even like the stuff with the PTSD, like, there was one part in the movie where he's getting breakfast and the guy's cooking eggs and Van Damme has like a flashback of them in Afghanistan or whatever cooking eggs and that's it. There was like no like trigger to have him go off or anything like that. It was just him flashing back to watching his buddy cook eggs. I'm like, okay. And then these gangbangers fuck with him and then that's it. That's the end of the scene. I'm like, come on, man. You know, but there's been plenty of other types of movies like this that are way better. You know, this inner city, kid works for a gang, this guy helps him type of movie. Like, Only the Strong. Only the Strong, I will say, is my favorite type of movie like that, where, you know, there's this guy that goes in to fight these gangs, you know, type of movie. Or the Substitute movies, the first two at least, were like that. Um, you know, the first one with Tom Berenger and the second one with Treat Williams. But I, I enjoy all the substitute movies. I, I like all four. But Only the Strong is def with Mark Dacascos, the Capoeira movie. You know, that's definitely my favorite guy goes in and fights a gang and saves this young, young kids type of movie. You know, that's my favorite one. And again, you know, excuse me, like I said with The Bouncer... You know, there's so much potential for Jean-Claude Van Damme in this market, in the uh, straight-to-Netflix, straight-to-DVD market. There's plenty of potential to do really good movies, and he has done several. You know, I enjoy The Order because it's, it's the last old-school Van Damme smiling and happy movie. Wake of Death, I thought, was great. It was a great revenge movie. It was dark. It was violent. It was brutal. It worked. 
In Hell was great. The Shepherd was really good. Until Death I really liked. Enemies Closer I liked because he got to be the villain. Welcome to the Jungle was fun because he got to do a comedy. Six Bullets was very good. So, you know, and then some of the, the other ones, like, I like Assassination Games. Is it perfect? No, but I like it. But there's so much potential for Van Damme to do some really interesting and really good movies, but for some reason, I don't know whether it's the scripts, he just accepts the scripts the way they are, or it's the director, or it's the producer. I don't know what the issue is with why... I don't like these movies. And I'm not the only one. There's plenty of other people out there that don't like Van Damme in a lot of these later movies because of the same reasons. So there you go. Um, I mean, are we going to get like a Bloodsport kickboxer type movie? No, we're not. It's, those days are unfortunately long gone for Jean-Claude Van Damme, but that's okay because I can still watch the older ones and enjoy the hell out of them. I love watching the older stuff like that and Lionheart, and Double Impact, and Universal Soldier, and Time Cop, and even some of the later, like Double Team, I really like, and Maximum Risk, and Universal Soldier, The Return is very fun. Um, those days are gone, it's just they don't make those kind of movies anymore, it has nothing to do with Jean-Claude Van Damme, it's just they don't make those old school action movies anymore, like this, um, but this one, Van Damme, excuse me, is a mechanic who can't talk and he has PTSD. There's this kid that lives in the neighborhood who runs drugs for uh, MS-13. His brother wants to get involved. He won't let his brother. Uh, he has to go make this drop for drugs. He's missing some of the drugs. The, the drug lord's like right hand man doesn't like this kid so he starts fucking with him and starts chasing after him and Van Damme like just kind of gets thrown in this situation and helps him which is weird because his character buys like painkillers off of this kid and he like you know like yells at Van Damme throughout the whole movie and stuff so he helps him you know they kind of outsmart the gang at the very end they get to the drug deal they drop the drugs off, the kids get away with the money, and then that's it. And then, again, Van Damme, uh, does he die? Does he not die? Because like he just lays there while these kids get away and the movie ends. Yeah. But, you know, I'm sorry. I just felt that this movie was very boring. It was very uninteresting. There was way too much fucking shaky cam. Like, you know, even shots where people are just standing there, it's just like... You know, sorry, it's just fucking annoying to try and sit there and, and enjoy this movie when the camera's moving around the whole time. You know, there's very little action. Um, you know, again, Van Damme kind of does a little, little tiny bit at the end, but then he gets shot and he just lays there. Does he die? Like, what the fuck? Like, stop already with this shit. It was like that in The Bouncer. Does he die? Does he not die? Like, what is the fucking issue, Hollywood? Stop it. The whole movie, like, takes place around this, the drug lord's sister who can't walk is getting married. I didn't fucking care about that. That was just so distracting to the movie. I'm sitting there trying to, like, see if Van Damme is going to do anything. And no, it's, oh, it'll take pictures. Oh, da -da 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 -da. oh okay. I hated it. It's, it was stupid. It was such a stupid idea. It was boring. This movie, I'm not sorry to say it, it was a boring, uninteresting movie. Van Damme had literally nothing to do in the movie, and he still looked fucking bored. And I didn't care about the kids. I thought the kids were fucking annoying, to be honest. Especially the little fat kid with uh, five different hair colors. I ain't personal, it's business. And I'm like, couldn't they just fucking shoot this kid and get it over with? Like, oh well. But yeah, We Die Young, you know, boring movie. Uninteresting, boring Van Damme movie. Van Damme was wasted in this movie. Um, much in the way that he was pretty much wasted in The Bouncer. I mean, he had a little bit more to do in The Bouncer, but still, 
when he's sitting there in the home movie like it gets old after a while again you know like i said in my bouncer review it's been six years six years since van damme has done a movie that i have enjoyed the last two movies that i enjoyed were welcome to the jungle and enemies closer well no because welcome to the jungle came out in 2014 so five years but still that's too long in my opinion that's too long of a gap to enjoy someone's movie in my opinion because every movie that he's done since then he either dies in the movie or you know like blackwater it was a good idea that just didn't for some reason didn't deliver And both of these movies did not deliver, and they were, they were boring, uninteresting movies. And they're not, I get it, they're not action films. This movie was definitely not an action film, but there was some action in it, but still, it was fucking boring. It was a fucking boring movie. I didn't, I couldn't wait for it to be over. And I just don't understand how you can have Jean-Claude Van Damme in a movie, and the guy don't talk. Whatever. I don't know. I really don't know. But anyway, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed my thoughts on We Die Young and The Bouncer. Stay tuned. I don't know what I'm doing next. We'll get there when we get there. And, uh, and once again, thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll talk to you guys later.